when I heard about BB Kids, I was actually approached by Missy and she was asking me questions about um, the community and what the community looked like and what my role was as a community police officer. And essentially my role is preventative policing and that comes along with partnerships with different groups, with the schools, being act actively involved in the schools. So once I heard about this program, I realized that it was, um, we had to run with it. It allowed for parents and children to bond in a way that not, is not necessarily available to them when you know, they're at home because not everyone has the skills that, that people get when you, go to school, when you go to university or you see positive cycles in, in a home life. Um, when the parents and the children come to Beanie Kids, they learn about how to deal with their emotions and how to connect on a different level. I've also seen the children just shine when they talk about Beanie Kids because it gives them a safe place to go and they know that they can trust the staff who are involved with them. As we can see with the BB Kids, the short-term effects is that it's allowing these children to have a voice, allowing them to have confidence and trust in parents and staff members. The long-term effect, they'll always have what they're learning with them. And hopefully, I would like to see personally, is touching older kids, um, getting the grade threes and fours, because there is a gap, you know, the, those children, they're, they're still young and they need that mentorship and the partnership with all the other organizations that are in the community. Um, again, I'll just express how important a partnership the police force has with Beanie Kids because without Missy and I's relationship that we have, she may not have known um, the severity of high priority neighborhoods and what our neighborhoods need. And this is certainly one of those um, programs that are, are absolutely needed in high priority neighborhoods.